Hello, good morning and welcome to Not Just About Ducks with me, Angela. Today is about ducks. Um, it is about all the others are out playing. It is about Miss Betty. Miss Betty has water bellies. As you can see, she's. Um, I've just rinsed her backside, that's why she's all wet. Um, so I'm going to try and treat this water belly for her. So um, let's get this leg tucked away. Let's see if we can put her in a little bit of darkness. <coughs> so she won't fret. So cut you down there, Bat. So there. So you see her vent. Here's her vent by right there. And you see she is so swollen. Right, so first off, I'll change my gloves. I will use a clean pin. My hands are sticky. No, my hands are wet. It's the devil of a job to get these gloves on when they're wet. You don't need to use gloves, <clears throat> but you wouldn't want anybody else doing something on you if they didn't have gloves on, would you? doesn't have to be nitrile, but I got nitrile gloves because I use them in the kitchen. It's all right, my love. Good, good sleep. Came down. Right. So I have an empty milk bottle, which I will... It's a bit awkward, actually. Sorry about that. I have some sterile gauze. I have a brand new syringe. This is a 20 mil syringe. And I have a 14 gauge um, needle. And so what I want to do is figure out where I'm going to go in. You need to do it in the right side, away from any organs. With ducks, they don't have um, they don't have diaphragms, so uh, so if they present with a uh, water belly, they can. Um, well, any any uh, poultry or waterfowl, they don't have that uh, diaphragms. Oops, I dropped that one. That's not good, is it? Good job I bought two. There's another one. Mind you, maybe I could just. Seal it up. I'll keep that for after. So, so there's where I've put the uh, surgical spirit. If you pinch the flesh, or the skin rather, you can, uh, you've been very good there. So the reason Betty's 
on the table wrapped in a towel is to keep her quiet. So when you do this, you need to go to the right side. So is 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 this a right side or a left side? No, 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 calm down. Is this her right side or her left side? Your that's your left side, isn't it? Let's uh, let's turn you over, my love. So I've got her on her um so I've got her on her the correct side now. And the aim is to go just underneath uh, the skin. Gosh, she's so tight. And uh, you don't want to pierce any organs, you see. Or, indeed, you don't want to pierce the... Uh, the colon. And you don't want to pierce any blood vessels. So she's so tight. Oh. So I'm pulling this the plunger now and I'm extracting the fluid. So if you hold on to the um, the needle I might have put it on too tight. Oh this uh running out of her. I'll just let it run out a bit, I think. 
it's just quicker if you can drain it off. Oh my gosh, poor little one. Poor Betty. I've decided, because it's flowing so fast, to put the bottle underneath her, or underneath the um, cannula thing, the syringe. It was dripping all down my leg. But that's okay, you're going to be better, at least for a few months. You see, water belly is caused by uh, my uh, by a fluid build up around the heart and that fails the liver and so the liver um, releases uh, the this is a plasma type uh, thing into I'll go back to the syringe into the uh, the bird's cavity and um, so this will give Betty a better quality of life I don't expect she'll last long Maybe another, I don't know, you, what can you do? It's just we'll have to do this or I'll have to do this a few times, probably. Uh, but all I can do is, I do love Betty, is, uh, there you are, it's, um, it's jiggling. I have to jiggle it now and, no, 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 Bat, no, Bat, stay still. Nope, I still gotta get that out. So when they've got liver disease, this happens. It could be from any number of things. It could be from uh, cancer. It could be pressure from the water around the heart or the heart having something bad with it or uh, whatever. But water belly can be quite common in poultry, whether they are um, waterfowl, turkeys or chickens or any bird really it's just uh, the only other option I could have done with Betty really was to just let her suffer and then die but
I love Betty. I think there's a fan coming down the lane. No, I can't do it. I've let I've let the birds out. So they walk. I might I think there's a truck or something going down the lane. Probably irresponsible. Well, it was irresponsible for me to let the birds out, but I need for Betty to be quiet. Betty. There's no nasty smell or anything. In truth, all it really is is, um, you know, uh, ah, you right, Betty? That's a relief, eh? It, all it is is, um, So Betty's all done. <clears throat> so Betty's all done, and as you can see, along with what's on the floor, she there are measurements on this milk pot somewhere. I've just taken one and a half pints. Off Miss Betty. That's what it says on the water but on the milk bottle. And with whatever else that's on the towel and on the deck. 
just have a look at Miss Betty now. Dry her off a bit. Oh, good job. Good girl, Bet. You did it. Good job. There. Yeah. She still has a bit of. She still has a bit of fluid there. Um. But hey, Bert, come on, let's have a cut. Let's make up. Oh, my beauty. Do you feel better now? A little heart going 19 to the dozen. Poor Betty. Or is it one pint? It doesn't matter. All that matters is poor Betty has been carrying that in her abdomen. So I'll watch her progress now. And um, because bless her heart, she wouldn't have been able to eat. She wouldn't have been able to do a lot of things and she's a runner and runners run so uh, I'll give her a cut for five minutes and then we'll go and see how she runs should we go and see your brothers and sisters hey my love oh In fact, it's it's still uh, leaking out of her a bit. It won't be long, and, and the uh, uh, the injection site will heal over. I can't put a plaster on it. Um, I know, love. I know. So I'll turn the camera off now, and we'll let Betty uh, go run with the flock. So, so she's had a surgery. Oh well, she's she's been drained. Um, she's got surgical spirit and gunk all over her from uh, what I drained off because it did leak a lot. So I would say about a good pint and a half of fluid uh, came out. So she'll uh, probably want to have a little bath or do something with it. I've got clean water and whatnot set up. So I'll just let Betty go and we'll see how she runs. Can you go down now? Can you go down? Thanks for being a good patient. There she is. So they can go into shock after you do this, but um, obviously she's not laying. Um, there she goes. Which one of you laid an egg then? <laughs> <laughs>